Hello, 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 and welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. Oh my goodness, we are going to have fun today. <laughs> uh, I want to teach you a lot of watercolor fun tricks and tips, and I'm going to show you, I was going to come over here and set everything up, but I'm going to show you, um, first I'm going to show you kind of what I do to get prepared. Um, I like to have some practice before I start painting like before I start tonight we're going to be painting on um I'm going to be two at a time painting tonight because I have lots of prizes that we're giving away tonight yay and I hope I hope that everyone has registered for this event so we're going to be giving away some prizes you need to be registered if you haven't registered it's okay I understand I want to get you in that habit though <laughs> and uh the first thing i'm going to do is open this thing up we have had the most beautiful lovely wonderful day this is a new um this is a new watercolor block new watercolor block with these uh old vintage scissors opening that will that did the trick. And I want to make sure you're following us. If you haven't followed us already, please do. And I cannot see. My phone is not showing me how many people are here. <laughs> uh, Morton says 17. I can see 174 likes. But I can't see a number. <laughs> well, it'll, it'll, it's fine. My phone's a weirdo. So um, this stuff, this is a watercolor block. Now, a watercolor block, and this is one I got from Temu, and I gotta say, I flipping love their watercolor paper. You did register, yay. So this one, this is why I love it. <laughs> they put a blank sheet on it, and a watercolor block, you don't have to tape anything down. You don't have to tape anything down. What I'm gonna do is, Right here, see this spot right here? This little piece isn't really well connected at all. But this piece is perfect to be our little tester. It's really a nice piece of paper, actually. We'll see how we'll so, see how it holds up for watercolor. This is watercolor paper, and this one is uh, it's cold press, acid free, hundred percent cotton. And it doesn't say what the grain is. It's 300 grams. 300 grams. You're painting as you watch. Uh, you didn't paint. Uh, now, you don't have to subscribe to register, Tony. All you need to do is click on the live event and then click the button that says register. Don't have to be a subscriber. Oh, and I can see there are 59 people here now. <laughs> awesome okay so these are some things i love for watercolor painting have yourself a spray bottle open up your um paint we're painting with angora opaque this is a really great entry level set if you're looking for a good watercolor that is like artist quality without being crazy prices this is it and it's it's on our um, Amazon link. And I, I've been painting really hard with these. <laughs> Anybody who's been watching can tell you. Yeah, you registered. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray everything first. These are dry little pants. Now, watercolor, you can get watercolor in tubes. Hey, Cambria, you can get watercolor in tubes. You can get watercolor um, pens. Like these are water soluble. Um, there's a lot of wa water soluble markers, watercolor um, pencils. You can you can get it in a lot of different things, but I'm just gonna kind of spray everything. Sometimes if I know I'm just painting this or that, I'll just spray certain colors. But tonight, tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have two paintings that I'm painting. For our winners who guessed uh, 157 in our shopping hall that we had. <laughs> and um, so um, I'm painting their paintings. But I also want to do, um, 
Oh, and uh, Killa Killa Bees followed. Thank you. Oh, and this, when, when we get done painting with this, I'm going to show you how we take this off. So this is, um, and I just sprayed this a little bit. It's okay. This you don't have to tape down. That's the advantage to doing to doing a watercolor block. I like it instead of a watercolor pad. So um, what I want everybody to do right now, because you're gonna have a chance to win, you're gonna have a chance to win a painting on this live. Last week we did this. This is just a copy of what we did last week because I sent the uh, winner out, the original. So we're going to do um, a painting tonight that's a little bit different. We're going to do a two-at-a-time painting. So I want you, everybody comment, everybody comment. Morton is going to read them off. Everybody comment what you want to see me paint tonight. Comment. And I seriously, I can paint on command. <laughs> I can paint or try to paint anything that you want to. And tonight I'm gonna um I'm gonna get out my little favorite brush here. I have a little favorite brush. I'm gonna get out this brush. Just keep going. Is it the blue moon tonight? Oh my goodness. Oh. Randy justly says mushrooms. Hey, hey, if justly, wait, let me stop you right there. Justly, I know who justly is. Justly is painting along with me tonight. So justly said mushrooms. Justly, I'm going to paint this one for you. <laughs> and maybe I'll put a couple different little elements in it. So uh, for my water, I like to use I like to use a bowl that has ridges on the edge, it, edge of it. So when you put your brush down, your brush isn't going to roll off. <laughs> and Lauren collects mushrooms. Oh, put them in the Milky Way. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're I'm gonna do a lot of painting. We got an hour. Let's see how many let's see how many paintings I can give away in an hour. I wanna give away a lot of paintings. But Justly's gonna get this first one. And Justly, you can paint along with me. Okay, come on, you that did this last time. I pushed it in too far. There we go. Martin got me this cool little bottle, but I wanna pull this stuff around. At the moment, so I'm doing okay. mushrooms, but keep saying, because if oh. Martin reads out something cool, I can always add it to the painting. And I'm I'm gonna give away as many Bugs. as many as I can give away tonight. Okay. So the first um, first thing I'm gonna Yes. The first thing I'm gonna do here on this card. I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this, I'm going to make sure. Oh, that's perfect. These are the cards that we send out with our, with our paintings in them. And it fits, so I'm going to do a whole one here for Justly. I'm going to take, I'm going to paint the shape of a mushroom cap. Can't see it. But I'm painting it. Oh, a red pickup, yes, with pumpkins, that sounds lovely. Okay, I'm going to paint this mushroom. Mushroom Gnome Village, sounds good. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm painting, I'm painting just in water. Now, um, what colors, what colors is this mushroom going to be? Tell me, tell me, tell me, what you thinking? Colors, colors, colors. Let's see the colors. To get started, I'm going to go on with a little bit of purple. Just around the edge. Orange. Scrolls acorns, red and white, orange. A little orange. Oh. Purple. Orange and purple look pretty. Pink. Orange Yellow. and purple. See, this is this got to be better than the AI for you. Gotta be. <laughs> Gotta be. We're gonna we're gonna fire in some purple here with that yellow background. 
Oh my gosh, and just let it run. Look at, just let it run. I'll layer more of that in. I'm gonna bring this one over here. Pull that one down. Okay, the stem. So we have this part up here. That part's gonna be our gills. So we painted in wet, then I did purple, I did orange, and I'm gonna put a little bit more orange in. I'm just gonna layer it in. Tip it, tap it in there, and tippy tap some orange in here. Hello everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I am. We've had the loveliest day. Uh, everybody's saying bats would look cool. Bats, bats always look cool. Pink can be a lovely blue is a suggestion. Black speckles with white hair, yellow hair look highlight. So you can just go in here and dot <clears throat> as dark as you want your color to be. We're going to go from here. About the mushroom <laughs> that mushroom. <laughs> That mushroom, okay. I'm gonna, I have purple loaded on my brush. I'm gonna dip it into the water and then I'm just gonna pull down right here. I'm just gonna pull down just a little bit. Look, I'm gonna let it go up there. Yeah, this will go up on, um, this will go on um, our YouTube channel, Forever and Always. You can go there anytime you want to and watch it. I'm going to put some more yellow in here. And look, when these are wet, they just sort of flow together. And they make it so beautiful. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Maybe I know what you're thinking. It's getting kind of messy and runny there. And that's totally good. All fine. A little bit of yellow down there. Let's paint some, let's paint some, um... Have you got the paper there that you use? The, the paper? Oh, I'm good. I don't need a tissue. Um, the secret here is to not let this touch into our mushroom. And guess what? If you let it touch into your mushroom, guess what's going to happen? Nothing. <laughs> it's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to paint out some green here. And have we seen any input from our girl that's getting this? Do we know what, uh, do we know any kind of colors or any kind of little critters that you like? Um, yes, yeah, she's painting with me. Her mom, had, her mom had sent me a message and said she was going to be painting with me tonight. I want you to paint with me. I want you to paint with me. So I'm just going to, I'm just poking in, poking in some colors and just going to get some little, and look here, see how down here it will run because it's wet into wet, but up here because it stays dry, look, we get these nice sharp little, little crispy, oh, some ants. That's good. That's good. Let's see. I think it was Rendy. I think it's Rendy who um, her daughter's painting. So in here where this, where this kind of bled down the purple, I'm just going to tap some green there. Now in a perfect world, <laughs> in a perfect world, I could blink my eyes and it would automatically dry. But that's not the case here. So I'm just tapping up. And can everybody see okay? Can you see all right? So I'm going to take this green. And I'm just going to, I'm wetting my brush off. And let me show you how I do this. Put it in here and then I roll it on the side. Put it in here, roll it on the side. So I'm kind of, oh, the glare. There's a glare. Let me flip my, let me flip this light off. I think you'll be able to still see okay. And we won't have the glare. How's that? <laughs> oh, 
Is that better? Mm -hmm. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Let me zoom you in. Let me zoom you in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Basically knocked my phone off the stand. Oh, there. Wait. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Oh, good. And you can see the paint and all. Good, 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 good. Okay. That's better. All right. Uh, groundhog head looking up from the grass. Okay. Let's... I want to now... Um, I want to now make our shape around up here. And it's not quite dry. Not quite dry. Let me take a bit of paper towel. Because I want to... Uh, it's a purple puffball. <laughs> oh, Morton's heart got broken from that puffball. Can a mushroom break your heart? Yes, mushroom can break your heart. We had our hearts broken by a mushroom today. Okay, so this is just wet. Because I want to make back behind here. Make a little hill back here. So as long as I just keep this away from my mushroom, and this is kind of like a dry technique here. There's no water left on here. I just want to make a little hill back there. We don't know what happened. We we don't know if we waited too long. It was filled with little critters that wanted to eat it. They couldn't wait. <laughs> yes, to eat them, they got to be pure white. Pure white. So now we just made our little pale, pale green hill. I'm going to tap behind there just a little bit. So our mushroom is not just floating. We might get more. You never know. Never, never, never know. But I want to put, I want to come back here with the purple now. I want to put this ribbon in. Let's get that purple loaded up. And that's going to be behind the stem. Behind the stem. And up here. I love painting mushrooms. I love it. And then right up here, we're going to put a little collar on this mushroom. And we're going to do it with a little bit of orange. And just tap. And we want it to stand out from our mushroom. So it's going to have a little orange collar on it. That's perfect. <gasps> that couldn't be any better. Okay, I'm going to let that big brush down. Now with our little brush, and this isn't even a fine point. It's not even the fine point. I'm gonna actually, <laughs> I'm gonna actually wash my brush because I want that bottom to be really, really dry. And I'm gonna get a little bit of blue because we need to have a little blue sky. And I'm gonna come up here Draw, it's, we're on dry. Put some color over and then bring the water in. Put the water over, bring the color in. We want to let some clouds make some clouds. Put streaks if we want to. The only thing we don't want to do is touch that mushroom. It's called keep away. <laughs> keep away from the mushroom. And we'll get a natural gradient fade if we just come up here and don't add any more color. We just added our color at the top. And I just touched a little bit of purple there. It's okay. It's actually pretty. Bring that right down here to our horizon. Right, come right down to our horizon. Now we're gonna let that part sit for a minute. Just sit. But I can't do what I normally do. Normally I'll have 99 paintings going. Won't work this time. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here to make our gills, I'm going to take a little Sharpie. I'm going to test it out. Nope. Too thick. going to take a little... I got it. I just got to get a skinny, skinny brush. Let me get a super skinny brush. 
a little tiny, teeny, tiny line brush. This will work. This one. Um, it's a number four. Make it wet. I'm going to come in here to the... Let's go with a dark brown and a little bit of black. And I'm going to roll that. The paint is rolled and loaded. Rolled and loaded on the brush. Okay, so now I'm going to just start pulling in. Cross your fingers that it's dry, please. I'm going to come in like this. Look, I'm going to come in like noon. Noon, I'm going to come in at 3 o'clock. I'm going to come in at 9 o'clock. And then I'm going to go in the center of each of those and pull in center of each of those times. Pull in. Always do it from the middle. You don't want them to be exact, precise. When your paint starts to fade, load up, grab more. And give it a roll. Thank you, Jill, for that. Jill is number 99 member on the team. Number 99. Welcome to the team, Jill. Team, <clears throat> team, anything is possible. Okay, so this one, halfway, halfway, halfway. Oh, Cambria. Cambria got to heart me. Jill did a heart me. Cambria, Cambria's already on that team. This is the place. So here. Oh, poor Angelia. West Coast, our West Coast baby. Yeah, the icons are so, I love seeing them up, throw them up there. So we have our little feels in. I'm going to come around here. And I'm going to put, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> this is going to do two things. This is going to give us a cool shadow. And any little bits that I messed up, yeah. it's going to stop them from being messed up. And I'm just going <sighs> to, two gels, I love it. I'm just going to darken right there. And I think that little mushroom's done. And I did get a little bit, I got a little bit um, uh, there, a little bit blurred. I'm going to just dab that. And then once it's dry, I might do it now. I'm just going to put some little dark around here to just make little dark feels for this little mushroom. I kind of want to put a hedgehog up on top of it. I think we should. I think we should put a little hedgehog on top, honey. <laughs> it's a really tiny little, a little tiny hedgehog. A hedgehog, go for a little, a little um, squished oval. A little squished oval, a little dot for the nose. <clears throat> I'll dot for the nose. The hedgehogs have the cutest little legs. And then we're gonna pull up, pull up the quills, take a different color if you want to. And I'm gonna turn this around to make it easier on yeah, painting. <laughs> it's a teeny, teeny little pygmy. Teeny little pygmy hedgehog. We're gonna start making quills. Are they called quills on a hedgehog, honey? They're mm, quills on a porcupine. I don't know either. And just put as many as you want to. There's no right, right way, no wrong way. And I'll dab in some little dabs. And I think he's gonna need something there. 
He's going to need a little something. I'm going to put a couple little... Nope, that's too dark. Too dark. I was going to put a little light color there, but it was like a dark gray. I'm going to make this little fellow a little bit bigger. So it's about 3,000 to 5,000 quills covering it, covering its back. The hedgehog can protect itself from predators. Oh my goodness. Well, this little hedgie is going to have a little flower. Then says hedgehogs technically have spines and not quills. Spines oh. are hardened hairs that have a solid center and are tapered at both ends. I didn't know that. So they're spines. Let's put some little flowery fields up here. He can't just be sitting up there alone. He needs a little forest that he's sitting in on top of the mushroom. I'm going to dab some of the green off. Straight down and up. Straight down and up. Now we can go in there with our little flower. Just a little flower. A little tiny posy. For a little groundhog. Alright, we'll give them two. Or three. They could be ladybugs. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I love them. All right, this guy's gonna be done. I'm gonna show you how to cut this off now. Where is this? Okay, so over here, see this part here where it's not sealed? And you can use like a letter opener, it's just something thin. Go right between. Oh, the suspense. There we go. And push it really far in. And then hold gently, gently, pull, pull, pull. And I can still do, I'm gonna do a little bit more with this on with pen, I think, when it's dried. Because sometimes your watercolor is just a really cool, almost like a foundation for if you wanna get, graphic with, um, if you want to get graphic with, um, other, other things on there, but, um, uh, this is gonna, when it's all done, I'll put a picture on faith or on TikTok. <laughs> I'll put it in our Facebook group too. And, um, I'm going to, I'm going to make more things on there. I just need it to dry. So we're going to, we're going to make a painting now. It's going to be two paintings, two paintings in one. This is a, something so easy for you to do. Just take your water sprayer, and it can be anything. This was, um, this was what we used to spray the mushrooms that we were growing in here, and it's my little art pen now. Spraying this wet. I'm gonna spray these colors now. I want you to just shout out some colors to me. Shout out colors. Just make everything wet. Spray everything. <laughs> First thing you do is go to Michael's and get paints. I can <laughs> relate. And take this teal. Teal, teal, teal. Teal. I'm just going to put in some little splotches and spray them. I reckon you're a beautiful artist. I think you're blue. Ladybugs, red, red, yellow. Okay. I need more water. Need more water. So you want to do this pretty quick. When you do this, this one. This is... No, honey, I got it. Fill this up. I'm. You know what I'm really disappointed about that mushroom with? Not that we didn't get to eat it for dinner, because I don't begrudge the little animals eating it. But we were going to go live and cook that live. Um, with you. So here, I'm going to spray anything that looks like it's too, 
that was too um, concentrated. So I'm gonna just spray. Watercolors, um, they dry quick. Okay, what other colors? I see violet. Let's grab violet. Let's put some. Let's put some violet in here. Uh, yes, I can see gamer grant. I mean, not literally, but I see on here. So I'm just putting some, and see, some of it will overlap the blue. Some of it won't. I'm just touching it. Now, spray, 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 spray. We want this to be soft, super soft. Okay, colors. Got teal, got orange. Let's put orange in here and see what the heck happens. I'm going to wash my brush really good before I go in the orange. Um... Miss Vicky says, Netflix has a documentary. It says sourdough bread is linked to long life. You know why? It's oh, probiotic. Probiotic. Oh, forest green. Let's go with some forest green. Forest-ish green. I'm going to get a couple different colors of green on here. I'm just going to dab some in. This is reminding me of a lampshade that I've painted. Okay, I know what you're thinking, Priscilla, what the heck are you doing putting all those colors in now? So <laughs> let's spray it again, shall we? Spray, because we don't want, we don't, we want to keep it soft. So you've seen the paintings. This, um, I, I can't, I've done them before. I've done workshops on them. I've taught people how to do them every time I feel bad about it. The acrylic pours. I'm going to call this one the watercolor swirl, the unwasteful watercolor swirl. We're going to let the water flow around. And look, it's holding just on, just on there because the surface tension. It did just break as I said that. Oh. I'm not sure what that means, but it doesn't That's good. Isn't it? Is that good, Gamer I'm Granny? Sure. I think that's like the stuff that your heart's pumping out, your, how your heart's pumping. I think that's a good thing. Let me talk to Morton about that. Okay, so now you see how, see how soft it is a good thing. Yes. That's what I thought. Morton's doctors have talked to him about that. So I want to make sure every little bit here. Oh, that one had a lot of color on it. Every little bit has color on. We just want a soft background that is not on purpose. Oh, gamer. Oh, my gosh. Not to call it Morton. <laughs> I love it. Yay, making art again. Here is to art. Art, you know, art heals. Art is healing. Between sourdough bread and our art, we can all live forever. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just dab a little bit off. So this is gonna be our soft, soft background. And see how wet it is? See how wet everything is there? Here's where you can really learn about wet on wet. We're gonna come back in with that teal. Let me grab some teal on the brush. And now watch what happens. I want to make sure you can see this. Really good. And thanks, everybody, for all the likes. Oh, my gosh. Holy heck, we're at 11,000 likes. You're awesome. I'm going to, I'm dipping this. I'm doing a naughty thing. Into this blue and into this blue. Mixing your palette. I'm mixing my palette. I'm mixing my paints. So I wanted teal, but I wanted to have a um, a big background. So I'm going to take, and I'm just going to push down. I'm just going to push down a couple little flowers. Let it bloom. That's excellent. Glad to hear your appointment went well. That is so good. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to tap down here. We're going to create a flower. And if you're thinking 
that it's too dark. You're right. Turn it to make it easier to press. Turn it and press. But you can see now, see how it's not spreading as much now? The spreading sort of stopped. I'm gonna get some more of that dark, dark blue in there. Not spreading as much. We want this to be a big flower. And you don't really even have to paint this. You're just pushing your brush in it. So now take something fun like a little sponge, a little whatever's. And um, I like to just make a little point with a paper towel. That suits me. Now I'm going to go in here and kind of pick and choose where and how I dab. And do you see what it's doing? It's giving us this super soft, cool effect. And it's putting... It's putting designs in it that we couldn't really get with a brush. But our flower is not done yet. <laughs> because now that this is, now that this is as it is, I'm gonna go out around the edges just a little bit. It's almost made like a um, mandala effect, mandala. Look at that, and that was just using this pattern. So here, I'm going to have enough on my on my uh, kitchen towel to come over here and press and get some of it. Just get some of those feels there. Some of those feels. So I'm going to be doing two things just now. All that water that we sprayed on, I'm going to be lightening up and off of here. But there's enough color still on our, that we muted in the background. There's enough color on there to keep that whole, pa the whole paper is looking. Do you see how soft it is? That's soft watercolors. They just make me so happy. <laughs> they make me so happy. Oh, teal and coral were your wedding colors. Oh my gosh, Gamer Grammys. Some days you couldn't talk or type on here. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you're here. I'm so happy you're here. So happy you're doing good. Okay, so we have that gorgeous flower that's going to be drying. I'm going to take this. <laughs> rinse it, rinse it. I'm getting a nice, uh, nice little pan of dirty water. Pull back up. And what else? What were the other colors? Violet. Let's take violet and let's make tiny little violet feels. So tiny little violet feels. You just want to paint up. Paint, just a little paint that's a bit wider on the top. Tiny little violet feels. You can spread them. We'll put some tiny little violets in Which here. Is meant to be I'm just saying tea and coral. Or a red and coral. So now, as the background dries, I'm just touching in some colors, just touching in some colors. So we have mm. the violet touch some of those in and uh, let's get up here I got a coral I got a coral this might be the painting that we give away on here <laughs> because you're all helping with it I love paintings that you help me with so the coral let's do the coral like coral bells let's make coral bells here we're just going to take and push the coral bells down. They're kind of going to look like foxgloves. And we're just going to coax. <laughs> we're just going to coax some of the color around. These would be coral bells. That up a little bit. 
can go back in here and put a little bit of coral down there. A little bit of coral bells. I'm gonna put one down here. Coax it, let it bloom, let it bloom. Magenta. Was it meant to be magenta? Maybe. So this I'm going to dab. When you dab, cool things happen. It creates little patterns and it pulls some of that water back off there. Nice. So somebody had said about, um, somebody had said about a pink or a red, I'm gonna combine. Yep, I'm gonna combine a little bit of those. And let's put that, let's put that right up here. Well, that's nice, Game of Granny has soup made for stuff grown in the garden. And so this one, I'm gonna take this flower and I'm just gonna keep turning this around and tapping right on top of this. Tap, tap. Tap, 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 till you get a shape you're happy with. That's all you gotta do. Get a shape you're happy with. Get a shape you're happy with. Take it up as big as you want. You can point it up in the air like a cone flower. Maybe like that. I'm gonna take this and turn it. You wanna keep turning this for a couple different reasons. So you don't dip one color into another, but it'll give you cool different shapes. We're gonna take it out of the middle. We're gonna take it out of the middle. Yes, we're growing a garden right here. So now that I'm gonna come back in with that color. I'm gonna make my brush wet. I'm gonna go load it up. Load it up, and now just ever so gently, I'm just gonna put in a little bit right at the edge, and I'm holding this up, so it should be coming back to me. Leave part of the white, the, the lighter color showing, and then do, do some more. <laughs> do some more and turn this around so you can have your little points different ways. It'll make it more 3D for you. And then this one we're gonna let dry for a minute. What other color are we missing on here? And down here where this is gonna join on, I'm gonna just put a little bit of that there. Just a little bit of that there. Yellow, yellow, yes, 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 yes. I like the way you think. I gotta dab it a little bit. It had to be dabbed. I'm gonna dab a little bit of that color down here because that just had to happen. <laughs> Sometimes things just have to happen with your paintings. You know what you gotta do? You gotta let it happen. It's meant to happen, it's gotta happen. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of purple I'm just going to touch a little bit of purple here and there. A little bit of purple here and there. On my already purple purple spot. This background is one of the favorite backgrounds I've done for a long, 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 long time. Okay, now let's, I'm going to grab a different brush. Because I love what you're saying about that yellow. Let's do it. Let's get in here and. Load that brush up. Load it up. You want the brush to be holding as much yellow as possible you can. To load your brush, this is what I like to do. I like to make like a little scoop. A little scoop feel with it. And this kind of feels a little dry. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a little, a little water. That's better. But Again, it's one of these things. <laughs> I jumped to the yellow next door. 
it's one of these things. You'll you'll not know this unless you just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. You can't. Um, you'll get the feel for it. You'll get the feel of it's too wet. It's too dry. You'll you'll get the feel. I promise. Just keep at it. So this yellow. Let's dot this yellow in here. Let's start putting some dots in there. Not. You can't really see it, but. It's there. It can cause us to um, I tried painting a tree on a bright blue background with watercolor. But the green, green leaves, leaves didn't work. Okay, so yep, yeah, my advice, I will show you how to do that. Uh, where you're gonna put your leaf, make sure everything's dry, green and blue. They will they'll join up on here. So you wanna make sure it's dry to paint beside it. And uh, the other part you can do, too, is just leave out, just leave out um, the white, right? Leave where you want to, leave where you want to put your leaves white. And then make sure your, make sure your trees are dry, your sky is dry, and then go in there with your leaves. So see here how I, I'm putting some yellow in where it was white? You see that? Because if I put the yellow in with purple, watch, you'll see this here. I put the yellow in the purple. Well, this is opaque paint here, so it does work. Normally it won't work. This paint is opaque, so it does work. Normally the yellow would just disappear. Even the yellow up here on this color, it really it is hanging out and doing great couple little dots around. Okay, so this yellow that's on here, I'm loving it. I'm going to make some little, just some little things down here. Not sure what they're going to be yet. Yellow is going to be our base for them. They might be grass. We don't know. Um, so canvas... I, I use all different kinds of canvases. Sometimes I even stretch my own. But um, make sure your ca canvas is primed. Make sure that's primed. Let's go with a nice green, yes. Angie, you're right. Let's get some green in here. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to sweep up from the bottom. Start down here at the bottom. I'm going to sweep up into this yellow. <laughs> Sweet. I like to be a bad influence creatively. I'm just sweeping up with the green. Just up into that yellow. And my paint, my green paint's not flowing so good now, so I just dipped it back in the water. I'm going to turn this because my hand, I feel like it's making a shadow for you. I want you to be able to see where we are. I love painting with a natural light. So I'm just gonna put in a couple more of these little, kind of till I feel like my um, brush yeah. is empty. What kind do I do? Yeah, do I do? Is there a specific watercolor paper or canvas? This is watercolor paper. You wanna use watercolor paper with watercolors and there's all kinds of different finishes on, on the watercolors that you can do. Uh, I mean, all different kinds of grains of watercolor paper. Like, there's some that are super smooth. Like, that's watercolor paper that's super smooth. Uh, this has a bit of grain to it. This stuff here. So this has a bit of... Can you see the texture in there? It's a bit of texture. I'm going to put some of that green right there while we're here. Put some little green in there. Put some little green back here. Oh, that's nice back there. That's dry on dry, do you hear that? Drying my brush out on that. Okay. So down here, where this is, I'm gonna make this brush wet now. 
This is going to be scary. Don't be scared. I'm just going to take this little green. I'm going to dance it. We're just dancing. Not to cover. I don't want to paint and cover everything. Little dances. Little dances. Of water. Some will spread. Some won't. Dance it. Dance it right over your paper. You're going to get some very interesting things. So we need more green. We need more green. Sunset orange. I'm getting carried. Yay. I love you're getting carried away. That's what we got to do. And thank you so much. Kayla Star, your positivity, your positive energy is exactly what I needed today. All right. <laughs> I need some more, I need some more grounding things down here, but we need to do something a little scary now. We need to load our brush up. And I think I'm going to make this. Hello, E-Town. I'm going to make this. This isn't as scary when you do it this way. When you when you make a long streak down, I think it's more scary because we run out of paint sometimes. And that that's pretty dry. I might get a little blur from there, but I think we'll be okay. So we're going with green. I just read that. <laughs> oh, Martin's dozing. And if I put you to sleep, guess what? You're like Martin. So just instead of making a long paint, instead of doing a long paint, dabble it along. Just dabble along. And then look here. I'm just going to take water in my brush and I'm going to squiggle it. Just make a little squiggle up here for our leaf. We don't know what kind of flower this is. Look, maybe the leaf's joined up. Maybe it's not. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can, And now this comes the fun part. We can run green into green and come back and just get more water. And let it run. And then if you want to paint some leaf shapes, you do that. You do that. And now, what I like to do is I like to clean up the edge. But I like to let some of that white there. I will show you why. I definitely want it to feel like it's a flower and like that's not just floating in the middle of nowhere. And by pulling this stem down here, we came in front of our blue flower, our teal. But that's fine. We're going with the leaf out here. You might find this is easier for you than just trying to paint a straight line. Just take it and dab it. Dab it up dab it around and look now I can make the shapes of our um, coral bells I can paint them in with this green and then that will give them a nice strong a nice strong edge and you see how we're doing here look we're going to go up there into the coral bells and we're going to give the coral bells definition by having them sitting back behind this leaf. We're going to make this leaf come the whole way over. Just that color. So we got to do more stem work with our cor coral bells. So I really did love the, um, I really did love that teal color. <laughs> so I'm going to come back in and grab some of that teal color. Oh, 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 this color, this color. Why haven't I been using you? I go around my palette and there's sometimes I just forget different colors. Watch this color. 
Do you see how dark it is? And did you see I just covered up all of those light places? And you're saying, Priscilla, why did you do that? I will show you. I'll make our stem. But I want to give our stem some little feels. Because the flower is never just a straight line. Some of that there. And don't worry. If it looks a little thick, that's okay. I'm going to take my little... Um, my little straight line here. Look, we, we, I just covered this to make a nice straight line. I'm gonna just take this, I'm gonna dab, just dab some straight lines up on here. Nice straight line. <laughs> I love that, right up to where it, where it curves. And this is a good technique too for you to take and make a shape around that might be too dry yeah and we're just lifting some of that paint back off now this color that i have on here and th the idea with watercolors let it dry as you're walking through it you're gonna you're gonna save yourself frustration i'm gonna take and i'm gonna make a nice little soft green and we're gonna come up here and our little coral bells, they're gonna be attached up there. They're gonna be attached down here. And then that little, this little guy, he's gonna go right down the edge. Just tap, tap him in, just tap him in. Don't go crazy and look, we can put we can put little feels of our little stems into the bloom. Just brushing a little bit out into the bloom. We'll take, make, it'll turn your coral bell into a coral bell. But again, you feel like you might have too much on. You can, and this will work for anything. Look, you take your paintbrush. Take your paintbrush. All we want here, let's cover that tip up. We just want that straight line. And we just go right into the paint, lift it up. We get a nice straight line. We're not, we're not interfering with the integrity of over here. So back here, I wanna put some little fireflies out. We have so many fireflies here. I love it. Tonight there's a full moon and fireflies. I'm hoping, hoping the rain stays away. I don't know if any do. This lovely green though that I just used down here, I'm going to come over here and just make, I'm just going to make some little soft stems. Practice on your little straight downs. Look, and if you put one up here, pull it down, it has to have a stem down here. <laughs> you don't have to follow it perfectly. And I'll put some little leaves on here too. I like to do little leaf feels where I just push my brush and that's sort of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna tap around here. So we definitely feel like we have our, we have our stems, we have our flowers. So this big one that has become our focal point, accidentally, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make another, a little bit more color on here. And we're gonna put another little part of this flower here, back behind here. Because with flowers, we forget like we forget that when you're looking at them in a garden, they never look like this. They never look pristine and standing there at attention. They don't. They're going every sort of which away. So we're gonna put some color there. We're gonna put some of that color down in here because we want a garden full of blooms. And that's that fuchsia kind of color. This one though is behind the coral. 
And again, look, you can get your leaf shape in. And you can just put little bits and pieces of it there. Maybe those leaves are kind of all over the place. Tap in as much color as you want. Be tidy around the edges where you want to create detail. I'm loving that. <clears throat> and then we'll put in some more. Let's put in some more yellow. That yellow, the yellow into that fuchsia color is really pretty. Let's put some down here. It goes in that way. We don't even know what we're looking at. But it looks good. <laughs> and look, when you come like this, it makes this edge pop. When we go, when we finish this up, we can go in here with darker. Uh, oh, Gigi, you on? Yay. Gigi, I'm painting a painting for you. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to paint one for you. I have two beautiful paintings. I have two beautiful paintings that are just sitting right here on my desk. Pandas, that I'm going out. Thank you, Tully, for the panda. So that that color there, I love. I'm going to come up in here with that color. I'm going to take that right back up in there. And then smooth the side. Smooth the side to make our little, to make our little coral bell pop out. I kind of sometimes like a garden that has absolutely no no sky. <laughs> sometimes I like to make a flower garden that basically has nothing but flowers crowding out every bit of the space. So I'm going to do that now up here. And I'm going to do it with an orange. Um, you know the go big, go home. I'm going to come up here with some orange. And I don't know what we're going to paint. Maybe a little orange pops. Maybe a little orange pops back there. Just maybe little round shapes. We don't know what kind they are. I'm going to get my blooms in first. There might be just a little bit of one peeking over that flower. There, one up there. That's a softer one. Oh, that one's pretty. Let's go one down here with one. These are all back behind this flower. And look, we might have some of these pushed up against each other. <laughs> Flowers don't just stand straight at attention and face you. If you want to make an accurate painting, or at least a bit, yeah, marigolds, that's what they were feeling like to me. Um, if you want to make something accurate, make it a bit messy, especially in that garden. I'll put one up here. We're going to come in with greens then when we're dry. Oh, dang it, we're at six o'clock. I always, I don't like to keep you longer than I say we're going to keep you. Hey, Mama Priscilla, are you going to put this on the tubes as well? Yes, this will be That's on YouTube. Sleep sound. This will be on YouTube. <laughs> Morton just took a little nap while we were doing this. I just touched a different color. And I'm going to come back in here, but picture just making little round shapes. Lots of little round shapes. That's what we're going with. And you see me want to be here. I wish you were here. That would be fun. I'm leaving a little bit of white in between. And we're going to come in there with, with green. We're going to come in there with our green. So we got every sort of which way of color here. And I'm seeing now... <laughs> And I know we started that with teal, but I'm seeing a horizon back there. I didn't want there to be a horizon back there, but there's a horizon back here. We're going to paint our horizon back in here. 
you gotta. Gotta, gotta. Thank you. Kilo says, I, I've been here, but I napped last time you were on the mushroom. Yes, the mushroom's done. I'm going to make this a background back in here. I have to. That has to be a little hill way back there we're looking through. The flower and seeing a little bit of the... little bit of back there. We don't know what's back there. I'm going to catch some cool green. Let's put some cool green down here. Don't be afraid to let some white on here. Don't be afraid of that. And I need to I need to deepen this color right here. And look, when you deepen on somewhere where you've already put something, it's so easy then. Because you're just tracing over where you've already painted. It's amazing. And don't forget, don't leave your flowers hanging. If there's flowers up there, there's flowers down here. Or stems, stems, stems. Okay. Now, up here and back in here, I want to do stuff too. I'm going to put back in here. I'm going to leave a little gap. I'm going to come in. And I'm just going to paint some purple up here. Who knows why? Who knows why? Nobody does. I'm going to paint in here. Paint in there. Grab a little bit more water. And it'll give us a lovely, lovely shadow. Over for our coral bells. Just dab a little bit up in here. And no nothing has to be perfect in your paintings. If I could tell my younger self, if I could tell my younger self one thing, it would be lighten up. <laughs> I used to drive myself to distraction by striving to have it perfect. It wasn't perfect. Oh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe how much... Um, energy I wasted on that. The fact that it's not perfect makes it perfect. So I'm going to take that. See how the dark really makes that stem pop? I'm going to take that green. I'm going to do some of that up here too. Do some over there. I'll let that little bit. I love that. I'm loving how that's looking. I'm going to put a little bit of that purple up here. We don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Let it fade over into this one. Fade some around here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right down here. Well, up in that, up in this... It might seem extreme because I said we were going to go with green. But I think we're going to go with dabbing some of that purple up here too. I think this is just going to be a golden hour. Just dab around. And we're going to give this one away at the end. And the end's almost here. And I'm going to also, I'm going to also pull a winner for a little painting that I have here. Oh, wait, that's our stem. Keep the integrity of your stem. I just almost lost the integrity of our stem. And keep that. But you know what? Things can be over a till. Don't, again, <laughs> me now to me then, chill out. Chill right out. Enjoy what you're doing. Touching some purple, touching it with water. No particular way. Just 
Let's get the, we're looking for soft garden shapes. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a soft little colorful fantasy garden. Nobody's going to say that rose has 29 petals. It should have 31. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. happens a lot. Okay, so now I'm loving honey. You okay? Mm. Martin just jerked his arm and whacked the lampshade. I'm gonna put some purples down in here. Cause this is like purple sunset painting now. I like this intense purple right here. I'm gonna grab some of that, put some of it right in here. See how it just fills that in perfectly. But I want to put some more noise on here. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to put noise on. This is, again, something in the, the olden days that would scare me to do this, but it doesn't scare me now. I'm going to grab some black. Very wet black and you know what we're gonna do you know what we're gonna do right now we are gonna let our painting take on a life that we couldn't normally give it watch I'm just gonna <laughs> I would not be brave enough gotta be more fluid to just do this But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Now, where where we just where we just went with some black there, I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna tiny touch and jump, touch and jump. I don't wanna take it off. I wanna let it in. I'm gonna show you why we wanna let that in there. I call these natures. <laughs> nature's low lights so we're going to take our brush rinse it because we had the black in it rinse it and then wherever this happened i'm going to smudge that around and look what it does it gives us some natural shadows and we didn't even have to think about them we're just going to touch them you can do this as many times as you want to but I will warn you, if you do it too many times, you'll be like, oh, too far, too far. <laughs> uh, and again, it's one of those things that you, you'll you get the feel of. The more you do it, you're going to come to a stage in your painting where you say, okay, I'm in love with you. And then you, you can stop. And you can also, let me, I just showed you nature's low lights. <laughs> let me show you nature's highlights. We'll come in here. We'll grab a whole bunch of the white. A whole bunch of the white, because we have some nice dark colors on there. This brush isn't great for flicking, but we will try. I, flick. I just flicked it on my face. We're gonna, the brush is like, look, I'm good for flicking. Flick, flick me on there. We're going to flick some of these on there. And now the, the nature's highlights... Same again, and look, we've been using the same paper. Same paper. Dab off, dab off. These ones I don't go back in and paint again. There's little flecks of white. They're just where they need to be. I'm gonna, with my brush with real white, I'm gonna take a little bit of these corals, and I'm just gonna come back here and just shape out our little bell shapes. I'm going to make a little bell shape just by putting a little bit of dark coral right at the end of these. Look at, look, they just turned into perfect little coral bells. A little bit of the dark because we had the fine, fine there. A little bit of the dark, all different shapes. Don't try to paint circles on this kind of painting little bit of dark right on the end 
We'll have our little beautiful coral coral bells on our fox gloves, maybe. I love that. That's so... Mm, mm. I love that color so much. Love, love, love that. Now you can, um, I can make it a little bit lighter, a little bit darker to come over here and put some details on. Or I'm going to actually do that with green. I'm going to just take a little dark green here. I've got to pull this a little bit closer to me. It's kind of far up and I kind of, I don't want my shadow to block you. I'm going to take just the green here just to clean up our little coral bell shape. Just paint that right around. See how we just made that little shape happen? We're gonna repeat that. A little green. That little coral bell is gonna hang like that. And we don't have to paint it totally straight and perfect because it's not going to be not going to be I'm lost now I get lost in a painting you see how our coral bells can just pop out now They've just popped out. And the green, the green is a wonderful color to come in here and separate these coral bells. And make them skinnier back there. That's better. They were looking kind of weird. These remind me of those plants that we saw at, um, at the Biltmore House. So that green, I'm just going to dab some of that green up here. Just going to dab it. Dab, 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 dab. Dab some down here. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Thanks for everybody being here. And thanks for the likes. 23,000 likes. You're awesome. I'm going to wake Martin up for the end. Because I need to, uh, I need to jump off. But I wanted to see this through with you. I'm just going to pull in a little bit. Pull in a little bit of streaks here. You can make your shapes. And we need to give this painting away. You can get get your feels coming in at the end there. And this one, I'm thinking my bells are a little bit too um, my bells are a little bit too smooth now, or too little now. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna mix up some of this. It's a lighter color should wait till this is dry really should wait till that's dry I'm very bad at waiting I'm gonna put a little bit up there put a little bit up it's a nice translucent feel that we're putting up there and put a little bit down under the bell Again, with this one, I'll take pictures when I'm all the way done. All tomorrow, I'll go live, and I'll do it when it's dry. I'll do the inked. I'm just dabbing some of the color up there down here. I'm going to do that. We're going we're gonna to make this one pop. We will make this one pop um, with those colors. But it needs to just wait for a minute. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm naughty. 
Like not that much came off. I do like to do that with my painting. I love to smush them. I want to show you um, this this one here that we did earlier. It's all the way dry. It's all dry. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna find a good pen, and I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna go bold with this sharpie fine point. I want to test this off. Yep, perfect. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, now that we're all dry, I'm gonna put in our details. And I hope you have been having a wonderful, this one is going to my little friend who's painting along with me tonight. Um, and I hope you have been um, enjoying this, this is going to have to be a little door because that hedgehog didn't fly up there, did he? I have to make a little fairy door here. Little door knob. Some little grassy grass fields. Little grassy grass fields. It would be fun too to paint little faces on these. Turn them into little grass sprites. Horses, yes. I used to draw nothing but horses all the time. I love horses. In our Facebook group today, I, I had told a story about if I could be anywhere in the world, where would I be? I was in the tree house behind my pony barn. <laughs> So I'm going to come up here because I want to show off that we have a horizon. Simple. So simple. Line. Simple, simple, simple. So we have our little... I'm going to give this some little feels here. This is the hedgehog mushroom, so that that's okay to feel like a hedgehog. <sighs> This one's going to the lovely little the lovely little lady who's painting along with me tonight. And then we're gonna give the flower away. I'm just tidying the edges ever so slightly. Notice like I don't have to have a big long or a big heavy dark line. We don't want that. Just just a nice soft little line. What we do need on here, we need a little nose, little eyes, little smile. He has to have a smile. Little leg, because they got their little legs. Little tum tum. And now little spikes. Or whatever they are. A little petal for that rose, a little flower, just little feels, little, little, little feels. Up here, looky, maybe a curly keel, maybe a curly keel, like a little feather fern. Maybe, hmm, maybe that could be a little feather fern up there too. And again, you don't have to go heavy or dark. This is a Sharpie. You probably have one of these in your drawer. I'm just doing it as light as a feather. Just as light as a feather. So Sharpie watercolors. This one is... Uh, this one's going, going to be sent to our, our little friend that's been painting along with us. It's Hedgehog Mushroom. And please, please become an artist and sign your paintings. Please. It breaks my heart when I teach a workshop and people don't want to sign their paintings. Sign your painting. Thank you so much, Angelia, for the hand heart. Um, test your test. Sign your painting. You be proud of what you do. You be pr so proud of it. You should be so proud of it. Sign your paintings. 
I used to make my signature so small you couldn't see it. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so this guy is done. This one's going out, but we need to give this one away. Um, to do it, I'm going to have to wake up Martin, and Martin's over there sleeping with his head on his hand. <laughs> now, I'm going to find a juicier... Are we dry enough? Yeah, we're dry enough. And I'm sorry for keeping you longer than an hour. Um, I like to f see things through. I like to see things through. So we're gonna... You are so lovely to us. This is a fine point. This one has a bit more bite to it. It's, um, it's a bit fresher. <laughs> this one's a bit fresher than the other one. So because of that, I want to be careful, but I feel like this can, ha this, all this beautiful soft color, this can handle some, um, bold strokes. So we're going to go with some bold strokes. I'm going to close up my watercolor. Their work here is done. <laughs> Because I want to go bold. I want to go bold. When I, in, back in 1979, I went with my parents to Brazil. And I, I got to go to Brazil and paint as an adult. I was, I was four, 14 maybe, 14 or 15. And I was overcome by all the vibrant colors that I saw. <laughs> I just loved it. And I really loved this one technique where they would take all their gorgeous colors and just sort of outline things. I was mesmerized by it. My um, my parents, they I think they always just kind of wanted me to be married and <laughs> have kids. And I, you know, I have kids, but I never just wanted to do that. I wanted to make art. I did not have faith in myself that I could make art and sell it until, guess what? Until I did. <laughs> and then there was no stopping me. Oh, my gosh. You, I want you to go for your dream. I really want you to go for your dream. Don't miss out. And don't just make, like, what you think you want to make. Experiment. When I'm in France, I'm going to experiment like I never, ever have in my life. I don't have to, I don't have to pick and choose parts that I want to go bold with this on. I want to kind of just let my marker do its thing. I don't feel like I gotta outline everything. I don't even feel like I gotta hold the marker right to the page. What happened can happen. I think that's when beautiful things happen. We let go of that fear of, can I do this, can I do this? Just enjoy <laughs> just enjoy that ride I'm not going to mess with those yellow ones those yellow ones, nah not messing with them who knows where these things come from maybe they'll get a little swirl around here it's probably this flower I'm going to make that a little bit darker just to make a little hole in it these ones back here I'm not going to mess with these ones, I want to mess with the horizon because I want a little bit of a horizon back there. This one, instead of drawing a line over, I'm just gonna push some things up. I'm pushing my Sharpie down and then just letting it dance up. I'm not doing that, the Sharpie is. You can join them up, you don't have to. Do some horizontals if you want to. Now, because this and this is in our in our first fry, first one. Oh, virtual wine and paint class, I'm there. 
and thanks, Julian, everybody for doing the all all that you're doing, being here watching. I'm gonna outline these. I'm gonna outline these. I'm gonna outline these without any fear. It's impossible to mess up. Tell yourself that. It is, oh, good morning, Martin. Mm -hmm. Martin woke back up. And see, now our eye says, oh, that's where it is. Look, we can put that little shape right there. Right there. That one's back behind that one. I want to go up here the whole way and just let this bounce. I start, I push it in and then push it upwards. And it just sort of bounces along. It does its own thing. I need to put a bit more bit more coral in there. I'm not going for circles. I'm not going for specific shapes. If I want to put little twisty twirl, whatever I want to do in here, guess what? We can do it. I'll put some little darker lines in there to give it more of a throat. And do that with my Sharpie. Oh, that one looks like it has a set of lips now. They look like they're smiling. Oh my goodness. They are. They're the smiling posies now. Do you see them? <laughs> They're smiling. <laughs> I told you they'd love it. Oh, yes. Happy little flowers. Okay. Try that te technique. Look, I am not holding this. It's just so loose. And just let it just sort of dot and dance. Play, 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 play. I'm going to sign this one. This one's done. Morton, are you awake? Mm -hmm. We're going to give this one away now, honey. Yeah. So this is what happens now, my loves. This is what we do. This is how we do it here. Show all that love. Comment. Like. Follow. What, do whatever you want to do. And Morton's going to... Honey, you watch the screen... I don't even know what you watch the screen for. <laughs> you comment, comment while I'm cutting this off. At some point, I'm going to reach up and touch the screen. And if you are who I land on, and I will land gently. I'll land gently on you. If you are who I land on, I'm going to send this to you. This colorful August... Full blue moon flower painting <laughs> that we did together. So make it whirl. <laughs> whiz, 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 whiz. And I'm still, still talking and can't touch it now. This is what I'll do. I'll pick all these little things off. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. It's done. This one is done. That orange the flower feel around. Oh. I would totally hang, I would totally put this in a little frame and put it in the secret garden. But I want to send it to one of you. So comment, comment, like, whatever you want to do. When I touch the screen, I'm going to pull my, I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn you here so you're sideways. And since I only can see straight ahead, 
This is gonna be super fair. Ooh, I'm so excited. And guess what, guess what? I've never shared this with you before. I'm gonna share a little secret with you. I have crazy, 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 crazy energy. I have crazy energy. I always have. I'm gonna show you a little secret that I do. I have always done this since I've been a little kid. <laughs> you know how people rub their hands together? I go like this. <laughs> I go like this with my fingers. I can almost feel electricity. When I do this, I'll do this, and then I'll go, and boy, oh boy, is it fun. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna pick a lucky person. I'm gonna touch, touch the screen, turn the screen so I can see who did I touch? Who did I touch? Oh, I touched somebody that I did not follow yet. So I just followed you. Sorry. Here, look at this picture while I figure out this thing. Uh, how do I send a message to you? How do I? No, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, what should it, should it say who it was? No, it didn't say who it was. But I just follow. Oh, here we go. Now I got it. I touched in the right place now. I'm going to touch the ear of the winner now. Kathleen. Kathleen won. And Kathleen, I hope you love it. <laughs> and uh, I sure did have fun being with you tonight. This is going to go. Kathleen, I just followed you as well. Yay. So Kathleen, now it's your job. It's your job now, Kathleen, to send me a message. And um, I have some other little paintings here too that I think I'm gonna give away. This one is to Kathleen. So Kathleen, make sure you message me, but I have some more, don't go anywhere. Yeah, message me with your address. Kathleen, <laughs> okay. So this one is going, my little friend who was painting along with me, are you still here? Randy, are you here? Oh, that was my jaw. I don't know if I've ever told you about, I had my jaw broken when I was 16. Oh my gosh, and it's hurting today. I'm falling all apart at 60. Really, I'm not. I'm so happy. Randy, I think it's Randy Shay. Are you still here? Yeah, Heather, my jaw like clicks out of place and it's terrible. I know this one's for Randy. She might not be here anymore because we're on a lot longer than I thought we were. But I have some other paintings over here that I want to give away. That's not a painting. I have some other little paintings sitting over here that I've done. Okay, so this, this is a painting that I did. Um, I, I love, I have a thing about buying uh, or painting a bird with a little bird. Is it coming to it? Is it flying away? We go live most days. We go live days. most days, yeah. But the cool thing about these paintings, well, there's two cool things. One, I made the paper that this is on. And two, it has another painting on the back. This painting, <laughs> I don't know why, this one reminded me of like a Monty Python illustration. Uh, so I'm going to give this one away. Same thing. I'm going to get the envelope to stick this in. So I can tell who's, who's going to who's. Comment, comment, comment. I'm going to touch the screen. <laughs> If you want this painting, comment, like, whatever. Do what you got to do. This is the painting. And I'm going to pop it in here so I don't get mixed up because there's nowhere to put my name on this one. I mean, for yeah, for me to put your name on the back. But this one, these look super cute. Even if you just... Um, I put them between two pieces of glass to display them and then you can just flip around you can also just make a cute little easel and stand this in and then when you know 
there's the bird, there's the bird flying there. Oh, he must be flying away, he's not there. I'm gonna put this one in here. Get ready to touch the screen. Get ready to touch the screen. I hope you're commenting. Here we go. Uh, oh, who I touched, I am following. Now let me get go back here, yo. I'll figure out how to message you now. <laughs> Hi, dear. I got a one of these days. I got there. We go. Reply, I'm gonna say winner. And I hope that you like the giveaways that we do. Uh, this was for Emily. Emily, I'm gonna write your name on here. Message me, Emily. I'll put your name on the back. Message me your address, and I just followed you. I have a whole bunch of stamps that a sweetheart sent to us. So Emily, you're getting that one. I have another here. This is another one of those little, those little, look, the one little lonely bird. That's definitely in the Scottish Highlands. I love these little mini paintings. Look, two little lovebirds. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the detail on these. One of these little ones that I had painted, um, there's a, a company that, that makes this incredible French paint. They put it on their website. It's still there. It's so wild. Okay, I got this one. You know the drill now. Are you commenting? I hope so. This one's going to Kathleen. You ladies have to message me keep commenting and these ones I make these cute little um, easels that you can make too you can bend a fork and turn it into an easel but these are just a lovely little size to put somewhere and brighten your day I'm gonna touch the paint uh, touch one of you oh we're friends oh yes we're friends now I need to see how to message you this actually, this person who just won this is Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, Tanya, send me your address again. Tanya's like the first person on TikTok. <laughs> um, who I don't, I don't think you were the first person to follow me. The first person that was very kind to me, Tanya, and thank you so much. This one is for Tanya. And if you don't follow Tanya, you should. Tanya's an incredible artist. I actually have one of her pictures sitting here that she sent to me somewhere on my, on my messy desk. Tanya, message me your Addie again, though, because lately we've had a couple viral videos, so I've been waking up to, like, um, 1,500 comments and um, 280 messages. <laughs> Okay, we have our winner for that. Let me let me just look in and see if we have any more. I have one more painting here. This one, this one I did, but I need to do something else on it. So as I'm doing something else on it with this one, this one is going to be mushrooms. It wasn't dry the last time. This is what I needed to do on here. If you're into the mushrooms, I think this kind of looked like, um, this one kind of reminded me of people. I thought of these little mushrooms hanging around like little people. So as I'm drawing this, They kind of just look like little friends hanging out. These two. Says it's been an awesome life. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. These two little mushrooms are going to be holding. 
They're going to be holding hands. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thanks wow. for hanging out. I'm going to turn these into some little mushroom people. <clears throat> and this is what I'm talking about when I say art, make art that makes you smile. Do that. Do that. I know I put a face on it, honey. Go for a background. I see this one has a face too. This one has a face already on there. Oh, that mushroom has a big face with some long hair. <laughs> Back there's a little stuff in the background. Just yeah, let yourself go. Let yourself go and have fun. Tanya, in a very large Yay, Tanya. Tanya. I have Tanya I've had dreams already about Tanya coming here to our place and that we're here like making stuff together. And I'm not even joking. We need to we need to do that someday. You know how Easter Island has the figures in the ground? This is Mushroom Island. I'll put a couple little couple little ups and feels. I love her. I love her so much. Don't forget you are an artist. Sign your work. Sign your work. We have one more. If you love it and if you want it, comment. You're such a good dog. I said, eat the cat. Thank you. I love those two holding hands. She's looking at them with side eye, maybe. Is she? Why is she giving them the side eye? I don't know. She's probably not. Who wants this one? Comment, comment. I'm going to get the, um, I got, and that's, I got one, this last little envelope for this one to go in. Comment, comment, comment. And um, I always look away when I touch the screen because I never, ever, ever, ever want to ever, I believe in being straightforward, transparent. If you like it, and if I touch the screen, okay, I just touch somebody I'm not following, I follow you back now. I just followed you back. I got it. Grab you and comment to you. Oh, replying winner. Did you see somebody that can sit the, the winner? Jay's T. Jay's T. French teacher and they have the mushrooms. <gasps> yes. Wearing berries. Yes. She and is Jay's T. Jay's T. One. It doesn't matter where you are. I will send this to you, but you have to message me. And uh, Jay's T, I'm going to write, when you message me to send this, send your art, I need to know what your name is, unless you just wanted to come out, you know, rando. Jay's T, message me your Addies. And everybody's all sorted. And I, <laughs> I love that. I would put that in the secret garden, too. <laughs> yeah, just message me, Julie. Message me your address, please. And I will I'll post these all out tomorrow. I want to turn around and thank you guys for saying so many kind things. <clears throat> Being part of our lives. It is golden hour here. Look at the golden hour. Martin had a good little nap, I think. Um my face is all red from the light <laughs> and and my oh my gosh I'm a mess <laughs> but
But I had fun painting with y'all. And I have to figure out now what we're going to have for dinner, honey. I was counting on that mushroom. <laughs> we were going to have pizza tonight. But no. Little animals had forest pizza instead. <laughs> And um, everybody, anybody who's recently placed an order with us, which in the last two or three days we had a couple orders come in, I want to take you back in the studio right now. I had this great idea for fused glass. <laughs> I might have to go live again while Martin's cooking dinner. Um, but I'll end this one because we'll put this one on YouTube. But um, I'm happy that the little little critters are eating it. Something's eating it. It's all kinds of little um, things and whatnot. You're five, five hours behind. Oh, 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 Jill, is the moon gorgeous? Is the moon, is the moon gorgeous? Here's one painting. Here's another painting. And then I'm giving away some other little paintings that I had here. This one I just added to. Too cloudy and real. <laughs> oh, too cloudy. There's a little, that's a little French, French teacher teaching her little mushroom friends how to speak Fr French. I almost said how to speak France. <laughs> and then I had some little, little, little fellows that we gave away to. And I, I really do hope everybody enjoys the painting. And I really hope that you um, paint along with me sometimes too. Or create and work. I was doing, the other day I was like, just going crazy, doing a lot of noisy stuff in the studio. Like cutting glass, breaking glass. And I don't like to do them on a live because I don't want to jar people because they're, they're jarring noises. And, um, but I was just watching, <laughs> I was just watching other people's lives and it's fun. It's it is relaxing. So you can do you know, hopefully if if hopefully if you're just taking a minute to catch your breath and hanging out with us. Hopefully you're doing that. And you get a you get a minute. Get a minute is good. Uh but I'm gonna jump off and I think when Morton Morton, are you cool with that? Yeah. Me going to the studio. You cooking dinner? Mm -hmm. So glad to get to have one of your pieces in your home. Yay, you're welcome, Emily. Make sure that you, Kendra, you enjoy it. Great. Uh, foil glass and solder on live. Yeah, the breaking the glass, I don't like to do. I've had people message me and say it gives them anxiety. I don't want that. Nikki, you have inspired me. Yay. Doris, you are so gifted. Oh, my goodness. I just like to do things. I have no special skills. I have no special skills. I just like to make stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I make stuff that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. And other times I make stuff that I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. Sometimes I'll paint over. <laughs> I just like having fun. But um, I'm going to grab a drink, go to the bathroom. I have a great idea. I have not done this yet infused glass but it's something that I want to do and if I do it if it goes right I might put these up for sale before Halloween too so yeah they can turn the sound down <laughs> oh Angie thank you I've um uh, yeah I just love love <laughs> uh, Diana thank you for your kindness that makes me feel warm yay we I don't understand. Kindness is free and it makes it makes me anyway. I feel great when you give kindness. Like like when I'm shown kindness, I about can't take it. <laughs> we walked out today to go run errands this morning and I looked at the wood pile. I can't even talk about that wood pile without crying cuz I mean everybody's so kind. Aunt Angelia sent us these beautiful mugs. Oh my gosh. And but I I love that when I was a kid my parents would give us money for um ha for Christmas to buy presents. Little money, like a dollar. 
<laughs> I'm old. This was a long time, long time ago. And um, I loved like getting everybody something. And a dollar didn't go far. There were six of us kids, mom and dad. So I would make things. <laughs> I would make things. So, um, yeah. And there's just a Randy Shea. Oh, Randy. Randy, justly. Yes, justly is getting this. Justly's getting this. Message me your address. And this will go out tomorrow. Um, but I like to... Um, yay! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And Kayla, I was watching your live the other day. We, I think we're all here to inspire and help each other. Encourage each other. And I don't do the negativity thing. I, there's, I don't get it. I don't, I don't ever even want to understand it. <laughs> I just don't think it could make somebody feel as good as like kindness, love, caring about people. I think that's where the good stuff is. <laughs> that's where it is for me anyway. I can remember when I was little, uh, there was a group, of, this happened to me as an adult too. A group of girls, some of them were mean girls, and they called me Pollyanna like it was a bad thing. <laughs> They call me Pollyanna, and they were like, "I'm like, cool. I'm cool with that nickname." <laughs> call me Pollyanna. Are you kidding? She was so optimistic and lovely. Haley Mills, come on. And uh, then I had I had it happen to me again as an adult. It was kind of like a little nickname for me in in um, grade school. And as an adult, um, someone said to me. I can't take being around you. You're such a Pollyanna. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I I just, I didn't cry, but I did gulp a lot. <laughs> I don't get it. Positivity is where it is at. You put your mind in a beautiful spot. Nobody can control your mind but you. Put it in a beautiful spot. Make, paint, create. Nothing but good stuff. Nothing but good stuff. And when the bad stuff does happen, because it does happen, this is, this is, you know, kind of like a, it's not like a fairy tale where nothing ever, even in the fairy tales, dark stuff, ha dark stuff happens. But I think if you have like the power of positivity behind you, you know, as, as we did, like when we put the darks and then lights on here for the shadow, same thing. It applies for life too. <laughs> Just, you know. Yeah, all that good stuff. I wish you were here. We, you guys, half of you could go to the kitchen with Morton and make dinner, and the other half of us could go up in the studio and uh, do some do some fused glass stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You could pick or choose, pick or choose, and then we'll all meet up in the forest and have dinner together. <laughs> the paper mache forest inside. So. I'm going to jump off and get to it. I will go live again, I'm sure. And um, I'm going to also... Oh, there's another winner still to happen. Um, and that's the winner from who's registered for the live. So if you have not registered tonight, don't sweat it. We're going to be live again on Friday. Friday's Fuse Glass. You'll get to see. I want to have the thing that I'm doing tonight, I want to have it fused to show you on Friday, and we'll we'll make more of them on Friday. So have a beautiful evening. Thanks for being here from the bottom of my heart, bottom of Morton's heart, yeah, Morton? Yeah. Morton stayed awake for a little bit. <clears throat> this will go up on YouTube as soon as I can, and thanks everybody for all the likes. 42,000 likes, you're awesome. Night, 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 night. night, night. And maybe, maybe I'll see you later, live up there. Night, night. Thank you.